Hi everybody, it's JT here, back with another video. Today video, I will be showing you some tip and trick in YipCam to make the program it more efficient. And you can uh, learn something more from here. So, alright, first one is uh, customize toolbar. And you can see here, this is standard view of Gipcam after you install, right? Uh, but there are some uh, toolbar that I want to pull it out here so it's visible to me on the screen at all time. Therefore, when I need it, I can just use it without go and look for it. Uh, something in here, let me see. A uh, move part origin, uh, I use it all the time. Get drop angle, solid alignment, uh, so precision. And I mean, you can use this to customize the way that you want to uh, to do. So let's show you quick here. Uh, right click, put your mouse somewhere up here, right click and do customize. As you can see here, Gip Cam will show up a lot of these. Uh, you can customize the way you want. You can new, name your new toolbar, but I only use like a few of them, so I will show you how to pull it out so let's see so position right so okay like this so you just type it here and it you know it will show up and then you just pick the one that you want so i want this one you to pull out you click on it click and hold and then drag it out and put it somewhere up here and then you can put anywhere up here but i usually put the end of it so i know that those are my stuff. Drive angle, same thing. Click, hold and pull it out, drag it out. Uh, move. Oops. Move part origin. Okay. A solid alignment. Right, and one of the oh to see it create this one right here. This is I you a lot because I make the program on fly axis. This is very handy. Um so I think that's good enough for me. Uh Let's just pull one out accidentally, right? So let's say if you accidentally or uh, you pull out the one that you don't want, a uh, couple of days later you change your mind, you don't want this anymore. How do you remove it? Why this one open? Why did my two uh, window open? You just click on it and hold it and drag it out somewhere and it will be disappear. That's easy, right? All right, so that's the first one. The second one I want to show you did right here. It calls show section view. This is handy when you want to see uh, some detail in your uh, model that you don't see it uh, by you know regular view. So when you have this one on, you can move up and down and somewhere that you can see the detail inside this is i think this is good for like when you have complicated part like usually um, auto engine or something that inside there and you don't see it you can use this one to take a quick look and see what inside you can uh, 
you with different view but this one just a top view so this is uh, it called cell section view the third one is uh, I use this one sometime so I'll show you real quick with this one you will create a geometry a spiral geometry no okay so this is the you look at the picture you can uh, tell what need to be filled out and you fill out whatever you need to uh, this is the precision where it will be located so let's do in the center too small maybe do a little bit bigger something like that right why why I use this one when I want to uh, let's say I have a round part right and I want just to trim it to the side to the length I want and I don't want uh, let to use the face off you know uh, two pass I would just use it and you end me on run and then the two just keep running in you don't have to uh, it doesn't move up and down so I use it sometimes not uh, many times not a lot but sometimes uh, the third one there about so you how to create like multiple solid let's get this geometry out uh, in the older gip cam when you want to create a, a new solid you have to do it one at a time but with new gear cam i think you can create like multiple ones so let's say if i want to create four island with this uh, geometry all i do is just click on it select four, four of them and do one up that you can see all can uh, create at the same time it used to be you have to select one geometry click to it and then select the next geometry and do create but with this new gear that's you know uh, you can create all at one the next one I want to show you when you create this one um, you can create a taper uh, do maybe this one you can see in here it had a taper right so let's say you do 10 degree it will show up like that and a taper so if you go negative it's gonna go the uh, opposite way of that so just want to show you real quick there anything else that I can think of huh uh, taper thread yeah I can I already show you this is when you want to create a NPT th uh, thread tap hole um, so oh I want to show you how you can create a, a new CS quick using the uh, auto CS create right as you can see here right now we only have one uh, work plan so you want to create like this part right here it had multiple phase and then when you every face that you work on you have to create a new CS and this is like I say this is I do it all the time and it's very handy so you just select the face that you want to create a new CS right let's say four face you go here and of course it go from origin part origin and just click OK 
and that's it you will have all the new CS that just create for you and you work on it so it's very fast and handy all right hope you guys like it hope you guys can learn something here um, in the future if I have more tip or trick or something that I think it will be useful I will make more video in the future Alright, see you guys next time. Goodbye now.